the Switch Pro has been in the rumor mill for the longest time, since the debut of the original Switch. And now Nintendo has put a bomb on this rumor mill and surprisingly announced an OLED version of the original Switch. And you heard it right, the original version, Switch. And with a slightly larger and better screen with some quality of light improvement. And if you are somewhat active in the forum or comment section, you will notice there are many negative thoughts stemming from this announcement. But this doesn't add up. With the light and dislike ratio on its official announcement video at around 85%, indicating that there is overall positive feedback on the OLED model. But there is always a community that may categorize as vocal minority, in which a small amount of the community will voice out all of the dissatisfaction through comment or video posting. And this is exactly what happened with the announcement of this OLED switch. Since the launch of PS5 and Xbox Series X, Nintendo fans have been eyeing on the Pro model for their beloved Switch, as it is only natural that Nintendo will announce an upgrade hardware for its already underpowered Switch to compete with the next generation of console. And that's what a normal person would think, and it's a logical trend of thought. Because why would it be? The competition is fierce, with the latest technology that could pack into a small box that fit nicely in a living room. Won't Nintendo worry about that? And as a result, lose some of that market share. But here we are talking about Nintendo. Even though they are in the same market, gaming market as Sony and Microsoft, but they do not compete directly because they always did things in their own way. First, let's address some of the issues raised by some of the fans regarding why there is no Switch Pro per se. Where is the rumored Pro model with 1080p screen or 4K output in dock mode? There is no such thing in the OLED model. But one of the most watched issue is the drifting Joy-Con, which they didn't bother to fix in the new model and it is still the same Joy-Con we know and love. The rumors of getting higher FPS and better output will eventually come true, and Nintendo won't stand still as the technology advances. Some leaker might have credible source that Nintendo is testing a Pro model, but the question is, when? It might release two to three years down the line, but who knows? Some leaker might throw everything to the wall and hope some will stick. And with just one get proven right, they're right. A 1080p switch is possible, as most of us are holding a 1080p phone. So, why can't Nintendo do it? The Apple M1 chip is small and generally little to no heat. Why can't Nintendo do it? The main reason is business and profit. If you look at the sales chart of Switch during the pandemic, it has been sold out left and right. A perfect opportunity for scalper. With the demand that high on their current model and keep increasing, why wouldn't they delay their secret weapon, the Pro model? Until the hype of the basic model dies out and generate a new hype with the Switch Pro announcement. This just makes business sense. They will eventually announce the Pro model, but not now. Regarding 4K output, don't even think about it. When the PS5 or Xbox Series X struggle to output such resolution with a playable frame rate, the Switch Pro dock has to not only be bigger, but also have to pack a serious graphic power in it, which result in a higher cost of production equal to a higher paying price for us. For anyone eyeing on Switch, this might be a disappointment in some degree as they're expecting a Pro model. But this is a logical step for the company. Moreover, the current Switch is not known for its graphical performance, but its exclusive title and portability. So the vast majority of people will purchase this OLED model as they are attracted by Nintendo exclusive and the 4-factor. Since I own a Switch myself and normally place a Switch inside a dock, I am definitely not getting this model. But for everyone else, I recommend it. This will be like a PS4 Pro mid-cycle update for the Switch. And I don't think Nintendo will come up with a Pro model so soon, at least 2-3 to three years down the line. The pandemic is still around us, so if you are stuck at home and eyeing on a Switch, this will be a perfect opportunity to jump in. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.